All right, guys, I'm back. And today I'm gonna do an interesting one where I'm gonna test out the actual effects of a honeycomb grid, honeycomb grid, egg crate grid. <laughs> the actual lighting differences between an egg crate grid and just a regular softbox. I got Ben, I got my light meter. I'm gonna do a first of all a test on his face. So let's see how it is right here. And that reads at 6.7. So I'm gonna also do a read on the background. And that reads at 2.8. So now let's put on the actual grid and see how it reads now. So what the egg crate does is it creates little walls between the softbox and the subject, which will make the light more directional and help isolate light, meaning that there'll be a lot less spill around the subject in the background. So that's really what I'm going for today. So let's get back to Ben and see how much light spills around him on the background in relation to his face. Let's do a quick read on his face one more time. And that is 6.7 still. Let's do a read on the background. And that comes to F1.0. So you can tell by using the grid, you can underexpose the background by over a stop just by putting a grid on a softbox. I hope this was useful for you, any photographer out there. If you like these, be sure to subscribe. And if not, don't. Anyways, have a good one. See y'all later.